What's good, YouTube? It's Mayweather Boys, and we back with another video. Today, I'm doing an attribute update. Uh, I never did an attribute update, but uh, the gameplay you guys are going to see is pre recorded, so some stuff I might not say on time, and I just have to say it a little quick. So, I'm just shooting around, showing y'all some of the moves that I use and how do I, and how I use them in my part. So, just watch. The guard one, I like that because y'all see how I use it. Like, you can step back, you don't have to, but you can guard one, then get open, like sight, and then you can shoot it. Or you could guard one and go back. So first, NBA animations. Uh, the jump shots I mostly recommend. I forgot to put Lamarcus Aldridge in here. But Lamarcus Aldridge on quick. Uh, release 22 on quick. As you see that, I'll show you guys. Uh, the next one is release 51. It's a nice jumper. It's the Dominic Wilkins jumper. And the next jumper is my favorite jumper, NBA 2K16, release 70. All on quick. I use mostly all of my jump shots on quick. My free throw is Tim Duncan. I like it because it's not too fast. It's not too slow. So that's why I have Tim Duncan. My dunks, I have a lot of time on. I like basic two-handers off one because it's hard to block. People can't really block it on a fast break. Hangman off one. That's the same. People can't really block it. Uh, side arm tomahawk. I like that because when you come down the court and somebody on the left side of you, you can side arm. Or on the right side of you, you can side arm. And straight arm tomahawk. I like this because I do it on a fast break and it's just a little fancy something to do. The cock back tomahawk. I use these because you can post the right people. I mean, yeah, I'm catching bodies, man. Shout out to catching bodies. Uh, Cradle Dunk. No, Historic Drexler. I like that because that's the same. It's kind of flashy. I do it on the fast break. And the Cradle Dunks, uh, those are dunks I'll do on the fast break. All the other dunks, I just use normally. My layup is Jamal Crawford. I use Jamal Crawford layup because that move right there, when you run into the hoop and someone in front of you, you can like make your defender just go the wrong way. Next, my my park animations. It don't really matter. Uh, it took a long time to load. Gotta wait. <sighs> All right, my flashy passes is no look, wizard, behind the back, behind the back pass, tap pass, just because they're the only pass that I can have. These don't really matter, uh, those, none of these. Uh, my park size up. I use park size up 3, 6, and 22. I like 22 because he get low to the ground. People won't expect you to like run off of that really fast. So I was just looking through some stuff here. And you go see next, you're gonna see my signature styles. Keep that contested on normal. None of those really matter. Uh dribble pull up, Stephen Curry. Another good dribble pull up is Kevin Durant. That's another one I could prefer. They both uh, have a quick release and spin jumper keep that on normal I don't really do spin jumpers hop jumper keep that on normal I really don't use that post fade Michael Jordan uh most point guards don't do this but if you do Michael Jordan is a consistent one hook one keep that on normal post hop shot 10 I like that because it creates a lot of space like when you're in a post move you can just tap uh, square and he's gonna do it or Xbox you can tap X shimmy shot one uh 
default or low dribble postures best dribble postures in the game uh, upright you can get ripped a lot crossover six you can catch ankles with that but crossover two you could speed right past people behind the back six behind the back seven they're kind of like the same but they both are really good behind the backs and behind the back 14 all those behind the backs can shake your defender and make him think the wrong way spin 14 hesitation three I use it because you go see after this that's why I use that because you step back and you can shoot hesitation four also if you're a speed booster or something you can just do that hesitation four move and just put a combos together inside out Jamal Crawford uh, that's the one I use the most another good one is Jeff Teague yeah Jeff Teague because it gets you open when he does the pullback and you could break your defenders ankles I saw size up cross guard one y'all see as I did when I was shooting around how I step back guard one and shoot the ball ISO side up escape. I use the Kyrie just because it can break ankles, but the Kobe could get you open easily. Just do the Kobe move and you're good to go. Uh, Chris Paul is another good one. You can break your defender's ankles and get open as well as, Je as, well as Jeff T. Uh, next. Next. Excuse me. Next. Mannerism, those don't really matter. Mm, I just went through those. Uh, as you can see, um, get the most points. I mean, get the most minutes on my team. And I'm the top player in the NBA. So, that's good. I might be able to get MVP. But, if I don't, I don't know what's wrong with 2K. Uh, so we go exit, and I'm out.